This is nice. Um, there still is. Uh, I mean, a, a buddy of mine was out of the country for a week or two, just got back, and he said, "When you're there, Trump looks just. It looks just crazy." <laughs> and here is uh, Theresa May on. Sky News with Sky News' Sophie Ridge. And it's a Sunday, I guess a Sunday program. And uh, they're asking her about uh, Trump's uh, grab him comment. It's interesting to have to watch world leaders actually have to respond to this. Staying on uh, Donald Trump, I know that you're passionate about equality and helping other women. You showed that as your record uh, with as Minister for Women and Equalities. Donald Trump tweeted last night that he's looking forward to meeting you next month. And I'm just very interested to know your feelings before that meeting, bearing in mind some of the things that Donald Trump said about women. Now, I'll probably feel slightly awkward reading this out, but I do think it's important to rehear what Donald Trump was recorded saying in the past, which is about women. When you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Grab them by the pussy. I mean, forgetting the fact that you're Prime Minister for a moment, how does that make you feel as a woman? Well, look, I think that's unacceptable. But in fact, Donald Trump himself has said that and has apologised for it. But the relationship that the UK has with the United States is about something much bigger than just the relationship between the two individuals as President and Prime Minister. That's important. But actually, we have a long-standing special relationship with the United States. It's based on shared values. Uh, and it's a relationship where actually in the UK we feel we can say to the US if we think, uh, if we disagree with something that they're doing. So but it's will because you say we've got that. You that disagree with Donald I've, Trump? Well, I've just said that it's uh, unacceptable. Uh, those, and, but also he ha himself, I believe, has gone on to say that it was unacceptable and has apologised for it. Mm. <laughs> just unbelievable. Just unbelievable. She this doesn't guy have is. a great record. No, uh, no of course she doesn't. No. However, I do know that you've <coughs> never said grab them by the pussy, at least out loud. We need to make right clear. At least that not that we're aware of. That we need to, when you're prime minister, there you go. grab them by. Grab them by the bollocks. <laughs> hey, remember way back when, like three or four weeks ago, where people were starting to think like, hey, is Glenn Beck our, uh, Glenn Beck our ally? I don't think we were thinking that. No, there were people who were saying that, right? Yes. I mean, well, there, honestly, a lot, well, there was a lot including of one person who I've liked in the past who did a disgusting video with him. Yes. What, you can't say Samantha B's name? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Why like, are you, you blowing up do, like are you, that? Are you, are you, What's the matter with you? Are you want to burn bridges. Are you close with her? Or? I'm not going to comment on that. I mean, she's not from Antigua, but you don't know. You never know. It's very strange. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.